Hi, it's Emma from Spurred On. Welcome to another big conversation. I'm joined by the lovely Craig Vi. Hi, guys. All right? Little. Yeah, 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 that's my thing. Is that your thing? Yeah, yeah. That's I, your thing? Yeah, it's my thing. I don't oh, know why. I need a thing. I don't know what my thing is. Maybe people should suggest it in the comments what my thing should be. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Do it. That's a good idea. It could be. Anyway, we move on. The big <laughs> conversation this week. Now, Barnaby, earlier on in the season, our esteemed colleague, who's still making his way back somewhere from Stoke as mm. we speak, uh, did do a little prediction when he was at Dortmund of how he thought the remainder of the games in the season was going to go and whether Spurs were going to mm. be able to win the league. Now, things have obviously moved on quite a bit since then. Massive result for us at Stoke last night means we're now only five points behind Leicester. Mm. Five points. Five points with four games to go. Now, some people may say that that is not achievable. It's not overtakeable. But we are here to tell you different. We are here to tell you why Spurs can win the league. This is mine and Craig's prediction for what is going to happen now for the next four weeks, the next four games. The biggest four games possibly ever in the mm. history of Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Spurs yep. Particularly in our generation, I would say. Without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. It's going to be huge and our boys are going to bring it home and we're going to tell you how mm. Spurs are going to win the league this mm. season. I don't want you to get confused when you're watching this. <laughs> in no uncertain terms, we are guaranteeing <laughs> that Spurs are going to win the league. Yes. I just want to make that perfectly clear. This is, there's nothing wishy-washy about this. this. This is a plan. This is the plan. And this is how it's going to happen. We are sending this to Poch after we, are. we finish filming Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. He's, he he's asked for it. He's, he been on, he's been on the blower already this he morning. Has, I've been know, like, Poch, just enjoy just, it. Just, enjoy the win. Just, you know, yeah, back off put, a bit, put man. Put your feet up. Have a day off. Have we're going to sort this we'll, out. We'll, we'll get back out. to you. Yeah, watch the video. Watch it online. Subscribe to the channel. He probably already does. He probably already does. I reckon he watches us all the time. So, let's move on then. Let's discuss this in big detail. Coming up next week, first things first, Leicester face Swansea. Now, let's just remind yep. everybody that at the moment, Leicester lead the league on 73 points mm -hmm. and Spurs are second on 68 points. The gap, yeah. five points. So, Leicester play Swansea. What do we think is going to happen? Remember that they're missing the main man, Jamie Vardy, because he got himself sent off. Yeah, do and, you one. know, do one. Don't try and do like, one, make Jamie. out like, oh, it's all wrong. It's such a mm. bad decision. No. You deserve what you got. Yeah, player so, of the season. No, oh, please. Get in line behind yeah, our boys, yeah? exactly. Right, Swansea, without Jamie Vardy, what are Leicester going to do? They're going to draw. They're going to draw. Because, look, they're not going to completely capitulate, OK? They're not going to... That gonna, would be daft after the, you know, the, amount, the way they played this season. They've conceded very few goals. And Yeah, they, exactly. Like <laughs> they defend. They defend very well. They've got an Italian manager. They get loads of men behind the, you know, behind the ball. Mm. They sit deep. They play boring football. They play boring football, yeah. And they're going to do it again. <laughs> they are going to do it again. look, Swansea don't really have a lot to play for. So I can't see them losing this match. But our boy Siggy can chuck him a goal like he did against Chelsea the other week. Yeah. Because he's still a yiddo at heart. We know that. Oh, God. Once a year, always a year. Always. Always a year. Absolutely. So we're saying that Swansea are going to pull a draw off. Yeah, it's going to be a Leicester draw. Leicester are going to drop more points. We obviously then follow on the Monday Night Football against West Brom. Now, just in case you haven't seen our match preview, you should check it out. It'll be around here somewhere. Make sure you check it out. Yeah, We've already... why, if you haven't seen it, why haven't you? And go and watch it now. Yeah, go and watch it now. And as if you will know, if you've watched this, that we're obviously gone pretty much full on positivity. We're going to smash West Brom easily by at least three goals. Yeah. So that's going to give us three points. So that therefore puts us on 71 points and Leicester on 74 points. The gap. <sighs> Now cut to three. three points. Just three points with three, three games points, to go. Three to play. The following weekend, which is bank holiday weekend, so everybody gets an extra day off and mm. everyone's going to be going crazy, is the big one. That is the weekend that we think is going yeah. to change this title race. And we're going to tell you how it's going to happen. Mm. Leicester have got Manchester United. Now, Two things to remember here. The first thing is that it's entirely possible. We don't know. We're filming this on a Tuesday, so the disciplinary uh, yeah. deadline hasn't passed yet. So we don't know whether Jamie Vardy is going to contest his improper conduct charge. If he doesn't, he's potentially going to be banned for this game as well, mm. the Manchester United That's game. That's big. That is That's big. That's massive. And the second thing is that Manchester United, even though they've been absolutely terrible this season, are somehow Third. still chasing a Champions League place. Yep. That's how crazy this season has been. God knows how they've done so that. So they're fighting. They've got serious things to fight for. Mm. They know how badly they need Champions League football mm. at Old Trafford next season. So what do we think is going to happen to Leicester? <sighs> I, I, it's, it's a tough one. It's a really tough one. But I'm going to put my neck on the line. I'm going to say Man United are going to win that one. Agreed. Marcus Rashford, 
Bosh. Yes. And while we're at it, can we just buy a Marcus Rashford in the summer? You know, yeah. we're the home of young come English Come over, Marcus now. Rashford. Marcus, this is come, where you want to be. Come, come to a big club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why would you want to stay that, down that lot up there? London's much better than Manchester, trust I us. read something recently, just a, as a quick divergence, oh. right? Man United <laughs> normally supply, over the years, have supplied England with the all the national team players at all Not levels. Anymore. I've only supplied four across all levels during the recent internationals, right? We supplied 17 players. 17. We put you to to shame United, we put you to shame. And let's not forget who beat Germany. It wasn't England that beat Germany. It was Spurs. It was Spurs that Spurs. beat Germany. Absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. So come on, Marcus. Come on, Marcus. Come to us. Come join the so, winners. But, but first of all, can you score against Leicester? Oh yeah, Facts. do that first, yeah. and then then we'll have you. Perfect. If you don't do that, mm -hmm. yeah. well, 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 we'll see. You know. Mm. So that's what we're saying. We are going balls out with this prediction. Well, yep. okay, you are. Yeah. I'm not. Uh, and we are saying. <laughs> that Leicester are going to lose to Manchester United, Big which shout. leaves them marooned yeah. on 74 points. Marooned as well, marooned I like that, yeah. Marooned on 74 points. On the bank holiday Monday, it's the big one. Ooh. Potentially the biggest game of our season. <laughs> in fact, I think it is the biggest game of our season. Biggest biggest game of any season in the and Premier League. And it's a toughie, just in case you've been hiding under a rock somewhere. We've got Chelsea yeah. on the Monday night football. On a bank holiday Monday. Like I'm not really sure how the Met Police managed to let that one go. But, you know, we'll roll with mm. it because it gives us a bit of extra time before the match to, you know, At Stamford Bridge as well. Nerves. So it's at Stamford Bridge, which, mm. let's face it, is a place we haven't won in a very, very oh, long time. Not since 89. Which is before a lot of you were even born, I believe. Yep. So yeah, we know it's bad times. Not it's, me. It's been a, no, not me either. No. But anyway, it's been a, it's, it's been bad. It's been a long time. Yeah. But let's face Too it. Too long. They are rubbish this season. Yeah. Rubbish with a Awful. capital R. Awful. If, I'm sure you guys watched the Man City game at the weekend. I mean, seriously, I don't think I've seen that bad defending all season. No, it was a joke. It they, was they, Chelsea are a joke. And look, listen, we're, we're history makers. This Spurs side are history makers. Absolutely. Right. For, we we again. We, we, we can you go but go back and see our other videos. We're first in loads in of in everything. everything. We're first in everything. everything. We are the best team in the league. Best team We're in making the league. history everywhere. Absolutely. Harry Kane scoring two two seasons cons consecutively scoring over twenty goals. Deli Ali being the youngest player ever to score ten goals in the Premier League. We are history makers. We're going to make history by winning at the Bridge for the first time since eighty nine. We are going to win at the Bridge. You think we beat Man City home and away and smashed Man City home and away and they smashed Chelsea. Yeah. We are coming for you, Chelsea. We don't care that it's at Stamford Bridge. We don't care that we haven't beaten you there for years. It's going to happen. We're going to beat you. We're going to move to 74 points. And do you know what that means at that point? Tell us, Emma. What does it mean? Because we both be on 74 points. Goal difference is bigger, which means we'll be top of the league. Top of the league. Top of the top league. Top of the league. With two games to go. <laughs> Everyone just take a deep breath. Just take a deep breath. Calm. <sighs> So with two games to go, Tottenham will lead the Premier League on goal difference from Leicester. Wow. Oh, Can't yeah. Can't wait. Cannot wait. So then we move on. We move on to the penultimate game of the season. And for both of us, for both Tottenham and Leicester, it is our last home game of mm -hmm. the season. Leicester at home to Everton. It's a write-off. Uh, yeah. Right there. I mean, let's. It's it again. It's not been a good season for Everton, and they haven't really got anything to play for now. Either. No. And Vardy will will probably, probably be, be back. back if he hasn't already appealed and won and been back for Man United. So it, it's three points it's to three Leicester. It's three points. It's three points. You know, their their fans are obviously going to get behind him, and you know. I mean, look, Ever, Ever, Everton on their day can put up a performance. Lukaku can score against anyone. Barkley is a class act. But, yeah. The problem is they haven't had their day. <laughs> no, much this they, no, they haven't. Every now and then they have, but they. Well, maybe it's coming. I don't know. I'm, maybe, try, I'm yes, trying maybe. to get some positivity into this, but I can't see it happening. Let's, let's stick yeah. to the loss. Come on, let's let, let's stick yeah. to actually realistically what we know is going to yeah. happen. And Leicester are going to beat Everton, which is going to put them on 77 points. Now, our last home game is against Southampton. Mm -hmm. Now. I know Southampton can be a tricky side. I know Ronald Koeman's a good manager, but as we've talked about in previous videos, yeah. they like to play us against our uh, uh, play us at our own game. Mm. Try to get that out. And uh, the thing is, when you play us at our own game, you lose. You can't. You, always you can't beat best. us playing us at our own game. Spurs, Spurs. No. So you can try all you like, but it's always going to end badly for you, which is why we're obviously going to beat Southampton. Step two, and we will put you down. South, you know, it's going to be the lady's going to be rocking like it will never have rocked oh, before. Oh, it's going to be absolutely it's electric. Be epic. You can oh. just see it. 
amazing Sunday lunchtime. There, there, there's going to be going there's going to be mock-ups of the Premier League trophy in oh, the crowd no, everywhere. I, the inflatables going everywhere. I'm not sure about that. I'm oh, going to be honest. Yeah. I'm not sure about I'm that. bringing one. No, I'm bringing one. Okay, just you then. Look out for him. <laughs> yeah. He'll be the one with the Premier League trophy on head. Yeah. Okay, so then that leaves us therefore both on 77 points, okay. and due to our magnificent goal difference, we will still be top of the league going into the final day. Big time. Judgment that, day. That goal, difference, that goal difference is worth three points it, easy. I mean, plus 39. Whoever's going to get near that. Even if Leicester beat Everton like 20 nil, I don't think they'd overtake nope. that. I mean, seriously, people. That goal difference is worth its weight in Premier League gold. So sexy. So it takes us down to the final yeah. match of the season. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately for us, stupid Leicester have got stupid Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And we all know how Chelsea feel about us. So what do we think is going to happen in that game? I really, really, really want to say they're going to lose, but... But let's face it, Chelsea are literally going to lie down yeah. and be like, run over us. They're going to bend run over, the aren't goal. they? They're going to bend over and say, come on. See, I wasn't going to be that crude, but Here we you, know, are. you want to go for that. Here we are, take us, take me now. That's what John Terry's going to say, yeah. just like that. Mm. Just like that. That's how he speaks as well. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what we're saying is... We can't rely on bloody anything from that lot in no. West London. So we just accept the fact that Leicester are going to win that game. And do you know what? That's fine. That's fine by us. Do you know why it's fine? Win it. Because we're going to beat Newcastle. Easy. Newcastle are already going to be relegated. That, that, that's my that's bold a call. Big, that is a bold call. They're already going to be relegated yeah. and they are not going to be able to cope with us. Their defence, coping with our boys, coping no. with Kane. No chance. And Ali no. and Ericsson. They're a mess and anyway. Bello they are a Lamella. mess. Oh, please. Yeah. Oh, please. We're going to do it. We're going to win it. We've got three and a half thousand of our best fans going up to the away end. And I tell you what, from what I've been seeing this week, there's going to be a lot in the home Ooh, end as well. There is going to be there's a lot There's going to be there. a lot in the home end. And that's going to be the moment. Yeah. Because we're going to win. And do you know what that means? No, tell us. Tell us, Emma. Tell me, what does it mean? It means we finish on 80 points. Yeah. It means Leicester finish on 80 points. Yeah. But we're going to win the league on goal difference. Oh my God, we won the league. <laughs> we won the league. We did it. Come on, you Spurs. We won it. We won it. Get in there. We're going to win the league. Get in. So you've got a nice little preview there of how Craig's going to go. Oh, yes. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I never thought this moment would happen. No. I never thought this moment would happen. No, but this ever. is what's going to happen. You've heard it here first. This is how it's going to go. This is what's going to happen. Tottenham are going to win the league. So you let us know in the comments below whether we're right. Are we being too negative? Don't tell us we're being too positive because we know that's a load of rubbish. Let's say Leicester just lose all last four of their games. We can have it wrapped up mm -hmm. with two games to go. Who knows? Let us know. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. At Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Come we on, you Spurs. This. We're Harry Kane's Believe. Lions and we're coming Believe. to you, Leicester. We're coming, we're to, coming you, Leicester. to you. We're That's coming a fox hunt you. and we're going to have you. We're going to have you. <laughs> Come yeah. on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.